I believe we all know this feeling when you are editing video and you just wish you recorded your video as multiple video sources separately so that you can play a little bit more with all of the edit. Hi, I'm Daniel and today I'm going to show you how you can record multiple video sources separately within one OBS Studio. So let's dive in. Okay, so as the default OBS Studio doesn't have the feature to record multiple video sources at once, we need to download and install this OBS plugin source record. The link will be in the description of this video. So I will simply click on the download and then I will simply choose the version I would like to download. In my case, it's going to be Windows Zip. No installer, but zip. Download, choose where it's gonna be saved. As it's downloaded, we open the zip file and we will open the file in which our OBS is installed. Then all we have to do is simply select those files and extract them into our folder. Just like that, in a second we downloaded and installed this OBS plugin. So I just opened the completely new installed OBS Studio with new OBS plugin installed. First thing I want to do is create new scene. In my case is going to be for example my gameplay scene. Okay. And then of course we want to add two video sources within the scene, my webcam and the gameplay. So let's start with the webcam, let's call it so we know what is what. Okay, so let's say that this is our webcam, let's put it on the side and a little bit smaller. And then to the background I want to put some kind of uh, gameplay or whatever. But in my case, as I don't play in any game at the moment, I will put here simply the video, but it's going to work in the same way. So I will put there video, but you can of course put there the game capture or display capture or whatever else you want to use for your video. And then I'm simply going to choose here the video I want to use. So let's say this need for speed gameplay. Okay. I will put my gameplay of course behind my webcam. So this is how the final video gameplay would look like. Everything connected together. So in case I would like to edit anything. It's really hard process and as you can see once again when I will simply hit the start recording as in the normal OBS it will record everything together okay gameplay the webcam everything will be in the one video file. So now we are going to set up our OBS plugin so that we can record all of those video sources separately. So I will stop recording and now I want to go for the webcam right click and going towards the filters. Now at the effect filters, I want to click on plus and hit the source record. Let's call it webcam. Okay. Okay. Now multiple settings appeared on the screen. First of all, it's record mode. That means when this video source will be recorded, you can choose always. That means always this filter is on. This video source is going to be recorded. Or you can choose streaming, what means of course every time you are streaming this video source will be recorded separately. Or you can choose recording, the same as with the streaming but with the recordings, you know what I mean. Or you can choose streaming or recording, that means whether you are recording or streaming this source is going to be recorded separately or virtual camera. In my case, let's start at the moment with the none, then we are going back to this and we will set up everything as it should be. Then you will of course choose the path where you want to save your final videos and of course the naming of the video, video format and the maximum seconds. In case you set there zero, there is no limit. But in case you would say there for example 120, it would capture maximum two minutes of the video length, okay? Then lower there you got of course the replay buffer feature. Also you got that the stream feature, that means you could separately stream only this video source. You maybe saw this on some kind of streams where they are streaming only their webcam on for example Twitch and then for example they are sending their viewers to Kik or YouTube or anywhere else where is the full stream experience with the gameplay with everything. So this is how you can use it. You can stream only one of your video source to only one of your platforms in case you would like. You can choose the background, you can choose the different audio tracks and of course you can choose the encoder settings for the best video possible. Okay. Okay. So let's set it up. In my case, I want to record this only when I will hit the hotkey. That means every time I want to capture those sources separately, I will need to hit the hotkey to start the recording. So for that, I want to choose there always and you are like, mm, but always you just said it's recording always. It's recording always when this filter is on. That means we will in a second set up the hotkey so that we will turn off or turn on this filter. Okay, so stay with me. 
As I said, record mode always. Path, you will choose what you want. Naming, I like to put their dash and then I will write like webcam so that I know that this video is from my separate source of recording, the webcam, okay? So I put their webcam. Recording format, I like to use the MP4, but you can have the other preferences and maximum seconds, of course, for the zero. Then when we are going down there, I don't need to set anything to stream because I'm not going to use it, background nothing. You can choose which audio track will be used for this video. So in my case, I'm going to check this. I will choose the track one and I will go with the microphone because of course I don't want to capture sound from my webcam, but through the microphone. So I will choose the microphone and then encoder where you want to set everything as per the best OBS recording settings. So for that, I'm going to copy everything from my OBS recording settings. Okay, now as we are done, I can close this and repeat the process with our gameplay. So I will close this, right click on gameplay, filters, add a new filter, source record, and now I will name it gameplay. Okay, and once again, always path, gameplay, mp4, zero, nothing, desktop audio. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, turn off your filters. Otherwise, it's going to record all of your video sources separately while you are not expecting that. Okay, so turn off those filters and now we set up everything. We want to set up one more thing and those are the hotkeys. That means in case I want to record all of my video sources separately, I will simply have to hit the hotkey. So I will go for the settings, hotkeys, and then let's find here the source. Here we can see the gameplay scene, that is our scene, and we can see at the gameplay, the source record enable and source record disable. Here I want to set the shortcut. That means in my case, let's say I want to use the control plus one for the source record enable and the control plus two for the source record disable. The same I will set up for the webcam because in case I'm recording the webcam, I want to record my gameplay as well. So control plus one and control plus two. Now apply, okay. Okay, so that's it. Now every time I will simply press the control plus one, I am recording those two video sources, the webcam and the gameplay as a two separate videos. And then I can play with it within the edit as I wish. So then I will press the control plus two. And as you can see, it was saved as a two separate recordings within separate folder. So this is my gameplay recording. As you can see, no webcam or anything. And this is simply my webcam that is recorded. Also be aware that you can record even the scene or the source that is not even visible on your stream. That means if there would be one more source, gameplay or anything else that would be behind my gameplay, I can record it as well. So just for you to know for the future. Okay, but that's it. This is basically how you can record multiple video sources separately within one OBS studio. So that's all for this video. Really hope you found that what you were looking for. Hope you are good and video fine. Thanks for watching and all of the support and see you all next time.